doing a walk the dog action early in the morning. It's probably about 545 right now. I already got blown up on and landed a small dink size speck. Uh, sorry about the low light conditions. The sun's just not up right over here by Seawolf Park. However, I didn't pay because I am on the beach area and uh, free is good to me. <clears throat> there goes Sea Wolf right over there. I've got the kayak loaded on the truck, so if this doesn't pan out, then I can go ahead and launch, fish around here, or just take off and go fish somewhere else. So uh, let's see what happens. Well, you got fish cruising right up alongside this bank. Oh, I love the way that slurp sounds. It's so awesome. Let's go back right up in there. Okay, here we go. Come on, where are you, Mr. Fishy? You still there? Yeah, we got him that time. Oh, yes. <laughs> so the first cast, I went after him and he just completely missed twice. Cast again and then check this out. Ah, oh, it's a dink sized trout, but I tell you what, it is awesome. Getting, listen to him croak. Getting these guys early in the morning. There we go. Mr. Dink Trout, thank you for stopping by and playing. But it's time for you to go, son. There you go. Keep feeding, bro. Get big. Welcome back to a great morning. <laughs> That's two fish already on the day. I wasn't even ready for the first one. And uh, I had a guy just blow up on it like that one right there. I'm fishing right over here by Seawolf Park and uh, there's a little beach area so if you got 4x4 four four, you can get back here. Let's keep casting, seeing if we can get anything else. See we get something on that side. Ain't no need to go all the way out into the middle of the water. They're over here feeding on the mullet that is right next to the bank. So yeah, I'm going to leave Mike's address, the web address, in the description down below. If y'all are interested in, uh, oh my gosh, that was a big one. Holy cow. I'm telling you what, these rattles, their ability to call in a big fish is insane. Whew. Yep, Mike Adams Custom Baits. It's called Adams Custom Baits. Holy man, I wish I would have got that one. I'm going to leave the uh, his, gosh darn it, I can't even talk. I'm so freaking pumped with trying to catch this fish but oh there it is I got him he came back and he hit it oh yes I'm gonna leave the uh, link to check out his baits in the description down below so that you can check it out and uh, possibly order you one of these Ooh, little dink boy you, you freaking hit it harder than them rays yesterday all right bro settle down there we go there we go let's get this guy unhooked and back in that water and we'll try to get that big one my gosh there was a huge one that just boiled on it there we are got it off and for a healthy release way to go chewy these guys are so violent with that strike it's nothing like the redfish where they wanted it nice and slow it's like uh i need to eyeball it let me inspect that thing first before I hit. These guys are like a freight train just coming at it and it's just a nasty explosion. I see some blow ups happening way out there. So let's start going that way. This is a very long shallow flat right here. It's about three foot deep on average. And it goes out, heck, a good 200 yards. So perfect for wade fishing. All right. I guess we'll launch for a quick bit. Uh, nothing's really taking the top water over here off of the beach. We'll get out there and fish like maybe a hundred yards out. Cruise on over to Sea Wolf and we'll see what's up. Got one. It doesn't feel big, but we got one. Tiny little sand trout, small little guy. All that you see right here, every bit of that, that's all sand trout. 
I've caught two with a spoon so far and one with the hoagies. I also had another bite, just letting it drop down about six seconds and then those guys are hitting it on the fall. There we go. This one's got a little bit more weight to him. Not much more than what the other one was. So just switching it up. Going from the gold spoon to the hoagies and they seem to be liking this one right here. The guys are a dime a dozen. All right, that's an eight 1,000 count. We got a little bit, uh, yeah, this guy's a little bit heavy. And another nice sandy. I said we were making some sardines, then it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, they don't get much bigger than that. And the ones that do are rare, so you should keep them and eat them. That's what those things are right there all day long, right up against the rocks. Gotta find you some kind of structure whenever you come out here. Kind of figure out what the fish are gravitating towards. The structure is where the bait fish hide. So the bait fish bring in all the game fish. That's the whole idea and the mind concept behind that. Okay, we're down at the bottom. A couple of twitches and then just straight retrieve. They'll hit it. I just got tapped right there. Somebody short bit the tail. <laughs> I got him. This is a really nice size guy right here. I could definitely keep him and get some decent meat. I just don't like the way these guys taste. I mean, he's a really good, healthy fella. Oh my gosh, this dude is fat. Bruh, you've been eating good. All right, give me my lure back. Look at that. This dude has been eating. Boy, where are the dolphins? Feed them with you. Does somebody enjoy you? See all the blow-ups. And I keep casting in hopes, thinking one of these guys is going to be a speckle trap because those are huge marks. I just cannot get them to bite. We'll keep casting. That's the only way that you catch fish is you just stay persistent. Don't give up. All right, here's the last cast right over here by the rocks near Seawolf Park. Uh, I gave it a good go trying to see if there was going to be any specks running through. They just didn't cooperate, so last cast right here. I'm going to retrieve this lure back in, and we're going to head right back over to the opposite side, going towards the beach and the rocks, fishing the very shallow water. Yep, that's it. Let's get going. <laughs> oh man, think about going for a ride. That is awesome. I hope the GoPro got that. We're gonna make our way back to the truck and uh, just probably call it an early day because there are really no fish biting over here. I chose the wrong spot to come to. Should have went to the Freeport Marsh, but I did not listen to my inner self. A little cricket telling me, do not go to Sea Wolf. Do not go to Sea Wolf. Well, that's what happens when you don't listen. Trying to make it happen. Trying to do good things. Catch really good fish. Not today. No keepers. It's all right. We'll be back at them tomorrow. What a nice and slow day this was, thank goodness, because my arms were tired. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can't always have good days. At least we caught some specks in the morning. Nice sandies over there by Sea Wolf's rocks. Uh, good day and all. It's better than being behind a desk, right? That's what I always say. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give that thumbs up, please. To all my patrons out there, thank you so much. We're about to have payday here in a couple more, like what, maybe three, four more days. We'll get paid there. I'll do another giveaway for all you guys. Like I said, a portion of my money that I get from all of your donations is going to go right back out to you all. That's my way of saying thank you for believing in me. Uh, 
That's it. That's all I have for y'all. Till next time. Tight lines, everyone.